What's up guys, it's Zach and today I am bringing you the ultimate 1v1 tournament. We're going to be starting off with a 32 man point guard bracket. So to determine these rankings, I decided to go off of points per game off of NBA.com as of March 7th, 2023. Stephen Curry wasn't on the list because he didn't qualify to play enough games, but I had to add him in the list. So whoever's in 32nd originally, I think it was like, it was some garbage. So whoever was in 32nd originally, I'm sorry, is out. So the 32 seed went to Reggie Jackson. Today we're just going to do the round of 32. As you can imagine, this is going to be a, a somewhat of a longer video. And yep, we're going to get right into matchup number one. Okay, so obviously there's no such thing as home court advantage. And for the first round, we're going to do best, first to five. Luka Doncic banging in the post immediately on Reggie Jackson. The one seed with a quick fall away jumper, no good. Rebound by Reggie Jackson. Yeah, like I said, no, no, no players have a buy. We're just going to be... Uh, sitting here. Oh, Reggie Jackson gets by Luca, but Luca forces the foul. I'm actually so pumped to do this tournament, bro. I, I came up with this idea when I was at work yesterday. I was like, huh, I wonder if anyone's even done this. If anyone does, I'll make sure to put the link in the uh, description. As Reggie Jackson gets to the basket, remember it's first to five for round one. Round two is going to be first to six, and then it goes seven, nine, and the final game is going to be first to 11. Luka Doncic banging in the post on Reggie Jackson once again. The six foot seven guard out of Slovenia. The layup's up and good. All right, well, Sim Luka Doncic is usually known for his good defense. Jackson tries a Euro step, gets to the basket, gets his own rebound, goes back up. No good. Doncic, another fadeaway jumper. That one's no good. Reggie Jackson now at the top of the key, guarded by usually first team all defense. Luka Doncic, Jackson sizing him up, trying to get to the basket. That's just not a good look. Luca, Luca fumbles the ball, loses it. He somehow goes right in front of the basket. Luca still, what the? He's going, and he shoots. Bro, <laughs> what the? What's that? All right, Reggie Jackson on the fadeaway jumper over Doncic. That's a good look. Prime Reggie Jackson might be able to hit that one. Doncic dribbles back out with 35 seconds left on the shot clock. Doncic with a spin move with a floater up, no good. Rebound by Reggie Jackson. Jackson able to get by Luca, forces the layup, no good. The triple double machine grabs another rebound. Man, this is actually be a wild. Both players are struggling. Luca shouldn't be struggling. He's the one seed. Draws the foul on that one. Going back into the post, the six foot seven guard. Big mismatch. Floater up and in. Yeah. It's gonna be hard for some of these lower seeds to win. You can't wait till we get into the, some of the later matchups. But yeah, Reggie Jackson down three to one. Sizes him up, picks up his dribble, forces a shot, won't go. Luka Doncic has takeover. Shot creating takeover is absolutely bussing McBusserington. I don't know. At least it wasn't 2K19. That shot's no good. Bullies right around Jackson. Doesn't get him with the pump fake, but that one's good. Jackson picks up his dribble once again. Goes up. No good. Grabs a rebound, though. He goes back up and gets a basket. Okay, he's not going out without a fight, at least. Luka Doncic with so many clutch situations in his career already. Picks up his dribble. Oh, good defense by Reggie Jackson. Doncic breaks the box out. And this game is over. Luka Doncic, the number one seed, moves on to the next round. All right, so up next, we have the 17 seed, D'Angelo Russell, the number 16 seed, Drew Holiday. d goes to the basket. No good. Rebound by Drew Holiday. I'm trying to, it won't let me set whoever has the higher seed to get ball first, so we're just going to have to do, like, at random, I guess. Holiday with the pull-up jumper is no good. All right, D'Lo, fall away jumper on Holiday. That shot's no good. Drew Holiday is such an underrated defender. He's the only the 16th uh, highest score for, as a point guard. I mean, he doesn't score a lot, but he will play defense. Jumper's no good by Holiday. Russell sizing up Holiday, trying to get to the basket. No good. He grabs his own rebound. He's got good positioning, and that one goes up and in. Holiday sizing up D'Angelo Russell. Holiday gets by him and lays it up and in. Drew Holiday tying this game up to one. Member is first to five. Russell drives good. D'Angelo Russell now with the lead. This really isn't going to be an upset since it's 16 versus 17. Holiday tries to get by D'Angelo Russell, who's not known for a good defender. And again, Russell comes up with a good stop. Russell trying to get by Holiday. Rejected by Drew Holiday. Grabs his own rebound. D'Angelo Russell can't make the layup. Holiday driving and laying. Yep, that's what I'm saying. D'Angelo Russell's defense is poo poo. Russell. Gets by, tries to get by Holiday. Holiday with a great defense. Russell grabs his own miss and puts it back up and in. D'Angelo Russell now leads three to two. Holiday driving to the basket, tries to get over D'Lo. It's up and in. And Drew Holiday with the now activated takeover. Lockdown sounds about right. Either that or playmaking for him. Russell step back, tween tween. That's just not a good shot. And now D'Angelo Russell's on the floor. Holiday runs to the side. This is why I hate 2K Sim. Like he, Holiday could have ran to the other side of the court and fired a three if he wanted to. Posting up D'Angelo Russell. Holiday now with the fadeaway jumper. Up, up and good. Holiday takes the lead four to three. Russell trying to shake Holiday with the uh, lockdown badge. I mean, he had a layup, but didn't decide to take it. 
Holiday gets the rebound, and he is one basket away from advancing in this 32-team point guard tournament. Holiday on the post up. Has Russell pretty deep. Goes to the fadeaway. Jumper. Oh, and he missed it. Russell gets right by the lockdown badge, and now we have a 4-2-4 game. All right, because you always won by two, but we'll figure out if 2K was built like that. Holiday misses the layup, and now D'Angelo Russell has a shot to take the lead or potentially win the game. At the foul line, goes all the way to the basket. No good. Good defense by Drew Holiday. Holiday driving. Good defense by D'Lo, and the basket's no good again. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound by Drew Holiday. Trying to get some separation. Holiday gets to the basket. It's up to good. It is win by two. Thankfully, 2K is not that bad. Goes right back to the post because 2K likes the post game. Russell misses the jumper. Holiday grabs the rebound. And this one might be over. Holiday gets right by D'Angelo Russell. And the higher seed, Drew Holiday, will be moving on to face Luka Doncic in round two. But let's get straight to the next matchup. All right, up next, we have the ninth seeded Jalen Brunson taking on the 24 seed Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony, we have a battle of the short guards here. Could go either way. Cole Anthony draws the foul. Cole Anthony in the post on Brunson. Shots no good. Jalen Brunson having a really great year for the Knicks so far. I definitely thought he could have been an all-star this year. And having two Knicks in the all-star game just doesn't seem right. Brunson missed the layup. Anthony in the air. Goes back up and in as Brunson gets the first basket. Jalen Brunson's averaging, I think, like 27, 28 points per game ever since the all-star break. He's like, a, he's like a man on a mission right now. And he's making the Knicks look really good. Cole Anthony with a spin move on Brunson. Both of these players not known for their defense, so this one could go either way. They're both like 6-1 or shorter. Brunson gets by Anthony, puts up a wild shot, grabs his own rebound, he goes back up and in. Anthony driving right baseline, spin move, he looks like he's out of control, misses the layup. Brunson creates some separation, tries to get to the basket, up and in. Cole Anthony is way too little. I mean, I love like an inch difference between their height right here. There's not been a single three-point shot attempted yet in the series. And Cole Anthony hits the fall away mid-range jumper. Yeah, I don't know why 2K never has players shoot the three ball. People would just, like Brunson would pull that right now. But it's that he's trying to go to the basket. Brunson, pump fake, fade away, no good. Here's Cole Anthony, and he, oh my god, he actually just yammed it all over Jalen Brunson, and he ties the game three to three. Brunson, again, is looking to, again, he's choosing to attack the basket. Layups, no good. And Cole Anthony, if he wanted to just shoot a three, he could end the game here. Six foot guard goes into the post. Anthony, pump fakes, layup, no good. Here's Jalen Brunson sizing up Cole Anthony, the number 24 seed. Brunson creates some separation, doesn't decide to shoot it. Go to the basket, up, oh, no good. Anthony driving, gets by him, and the layup's out of control, but gets his own rebound, and he puts it up and in. Cole Anthony's one point away from upsetting Jalen Brunson in the round of 32 of the best March Madness bracket you could ever find, even though it is April. Brunson layup, no good. Anthony with the rebound and he has slashing takeover as a six foot guard, by the way. Anthony posting, fading, that's game. The number 24 seed, Cole Anthony, Knocks out Jalen Brunson. Let's get to the next one. All right, so up next, we have the 8 seed De'Aaron Fox taking on the 25 seed Trey Jones. Trey Jones gets straight to work. Fadeaway layup is no good. The 3 seed in the Western Conference right now. So they would have to go as De'Aaron Fox makes the layup. As they would have to go either against the Warriors or the Lakers in the first round. Because I do believe the Warriors are still at the 6 seed currently. But yeah, the Kings, with their lack of experience, it'll be interesting. I think a lot of people are going to have them getting upset. But don't be surprised if they at least win the first round. As Trey Jones ties up the game at 1-1. One one. Fox on the post up on Trey Jones. Because again, this, the game likes posting up for some reason. As Fox hits the layup. Oh, he almost forgot that Trey Jones was even on the Spurs. He looks like a spin move. He's done that already 10 times. Fox with the rebound. Darren Fox gets right by Trey Jones, draws the foul, and one. Oh no, Trey Jones is in trouble early. Keep in mind, to qualify for this tournament, all you had to do was average, I believe, like 10 some points per game as Trey Jones hits the tough left handed layup. Darren Fox sizing up Trey Jones. I don't think there's been a mid range jumper attempted in this tournament yet. Fox sizing him up, gets by him, layup, no good. Good defense by Trey Jones. Trey Jones get the spin move. He's done that about 87 times. Rebound by De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox tries to get by Trey Jones, and he dunks it all over the six foot one San Antonio guard. Jones has Fox in the post. Trey Jones misses the easy layup, and this one might be over. De'Aaron Fox is going to end the game right now. Trey Jones had a step for a second, makes it a lot more difficult than it had to be. Grabs the offensive rebound. The, the ridiculous, really high floater from underneath the basket is good. 
Fox to the basket, layup, no good. Trey Jones, another big stop on defense. If he scores here, he'll have to force Fox to score two buckets as it's win by two. Trey Jones with the pull-up jumper, no good. Rebound by De'Aaron Fox. I think that's one of the first pull-ups we've seen in the whole tournament so far. De'Aaron Fox trying to create some separation. Got Trey Jones on the half step. Trey, or excuse me, De'Aaron Fox missed the layup. Only 11% covered, his takeover's almost gone. Trey Jones, he gets a step on De'Aaron, the layup. Oh my God, how do you not make that? De'Aaron Fox, the full of a freaking jump shot. We rarely, rarely see those. Fox, and then he does some weird ass layup from the short corner, grabs his own rebound, and De'Aaron Fox hangs on. Five to three win over the 25 seed, and let's get to the next one. All right, and now we have arguably the matchup of the first round. We have the four seed, Stephen Curry, taking on the 29 seed, Marcus Smart. And Marcus Smart hits a fall, fall away jumper, and he leads one nothing. Like I said earlier, Stephen Curry wasn't registered on NBA.com. He pulls a three immediately, and that one's no good. I'm so caught it completely off guard. It's the first three attempted on the tournament. Anyways, Curry has not played enough games to be eligible for points per game, so I obviously had to throw him in the list. If I'm forgetting anyone, please make sure to leave a comment down below. As Marcus Smart takes a 2-0 lead early, the 29 seed, I may add, ties up the Defensive Player of the Year. Curry, a fallaway mid-range jumper, and Curry's really got to start shaping up. He has no screens, he has no Kevon Looney, no Draymond Green, or no Zaza Pachulia to set him screens. He's got to create his own shot. Marcus Smart on the post up on Curry. That's one thing that Smart has is size. And Marcus Smart misses. He gets his own rebound. And Marcus Smart is up three to nothing on Steph Curry. Off the inbound, Curry fires a three, and that one's good. Stephen Curry proving why he's the greatest three-point shooter of all time. Score is now three to two. Marcus Smart on the post up on Curry. A fadeaway jumper, no good. And Curry has a chance to tie it or take the lead. Let's see what he decides to do. Curry takes a side step, makes Marcus Smart fall. Oh my God! Oh my God! Stephen Curry just makes the Defensive Player of the Year lean. He heard I was talking trash, and now he leads four to three. Here comes Marcus Smart. Post up another mid-range jumper. Curry is locked in on defense, and Curry could end the game right now. Curry spin move doesn't get doesn't get him in the air. Missed the jumper. Marcus Smart with great defense there. Smart, another fadeaway mid-range jumper, and that one's good. Now he forces Curry to hit a two for the win or a one for the tie. Curry didn't pull it straight away. Very interesting. Curry tries to go to the basket. It goes up and in. Stephen Curry with a one-point lead. Curry, who's honestly a really bad defender. Smart, another fadeaway jumper. That one's no good. Curry with the good box out. Gets the rebound. He fires immediately. That was a good look, but it doesn't fall this time for Curry. Smart going back to the bread and butter, the layup. That could have fallen, but I guess the 28% red contest from Steph Curry was too much to handle. Curry gets to the basket. That's easy. <laughs> Stephen Curry comes back on Marcus Smart after trailing. I think it was 3 0. So good for Curry. And we're moving on to our next matchup. All right, following up, we have Tyler Hero, the 13 seed, taking on the 20 seed. Russell Westbrook, Tyler Hero misses the layup right away. Not gonna lie, Westbrook completely destroying my Lakers, I think it was yesterday. But Westbrook makes the, makes the layup. Again, he's not exactly the worst person in one on one situations, that's for sure. Hero tries to make something out of nothing, makes the, or excuse me, misses the layup. And now we got Russell Westbrook. Let's see, did he take a threes in the game? No, because he can get right to the basket. And he missed the layup, though. If that was prime Westbrook, that, that might have been even a dunk and not even a layup. Hero tries to drive on Westbrook. A little trickery, and he gets the layup to fall. And if he wants any chance at this one, I, I don't think his three-point rating is that high in this game. Westbrook gets to the basket, and he dunks it. Hero trying to make something out of nothing once again. I, man, Tyler Hero is struggling here on offense. This is more of his game or where he has a chance when it comes to strength, that's for sure. But then he does a fallaway jumper. That one's no good. It looks good, at least. Tyler Hero tries to get by Westbrook. Layup's no good. Tyler Hero is selling McSellerington right now. Westbrook trying to get to the basket to pull up mid-range jumper. No good. Tyler Hero needs to find out real quick that he knows actually how to shoot a basketball. He decides to go to the basket. Shot bounces near, goes off the rim for some reason. Hero throws up another layup and it's no good. Westbrook with playmaking takeover. That's interesting. I mean, he can still dunk with the best of them, as you can see right there. But playmaking takeover makes sense, I guess. The 13 seed is in trouble here. Tyler Hero needs to start actually playing offense. Hero fires, no good. Rebound Westbrook. Tyler Hero is now cold. That is the first person that's went cold in the entire tournament. 
Westbrook ices get right by him. He is bob sagging right now all over Tyler Hero. Hero forces the mid-range jumper, no good. Westbrook with the rebound, and this one should be over. Westbrook to the basket, way too easy. The number 20 seed moves on to face Stephen Curry next round. That's going to be a good one. And now we move on to our next matchup in round one. All right, up next, we have the 12 seed Tyrese Halliburton, who gets straight to work before the even introductions, taking on the 21 seed Malcolm Brogdon. As you saw, Halliburton with the easy one to start. Now Malcolm Brogdon goes right back at him. Where was this offense in all the other games? It is one to one. Ties up a rook former rookie of the year, Halliburton. Misses, he's boxing out, not going for the rebound. Now he gets the rebound and lays it up in. Brogdon gets by Halliburton, misses the bunny. Halliburton driving in, ugly looking jump shot. Is that how he shoots in real life? Again, gets his own rebound. Malcolm Brogdon is not boxing out real well. I mean, he's a point guard, but still, it's one on one, bro. Brogdon, again, had the layup and didn't take it for some reason. Malcolm Brogdon is playing with the yips as the first time All-Star gets right by him once again. It is so free. Now it is four to one. Brogdon gets by him, good layup, and he goes up and in. So makes it a four two game, but I believe it's all over. Tyrese Halliburton just been getting straight to the basket on this guy. Halliburton trying to get to the basket all over Malcolm Brogdon, an ugly looking mid-range jumper, but it's good. And Tyrese Halliburton, the higher seed moves on. And let's get to our final match of the day we have coming up. In our final matchup of the day, we have the five seed Kyrie Irving taking on the 28 seed Mike Conley. Irving with the pull-up jumper, this one's good. This one should be wraps. We don't have to worry about any of the off the court drama that Kyrie Irving usually brings to the table. But we have the newest member of the Minnesota Timberwolves, I believe, and Mike Conley, who made an all-star game in his career. So I think the W career on his part, and he's made a lot of money. Conley gets right to the basket on Kyrie Irving. Missed the layup though. A little bit of trickery, mid-range jumper is no good. Mike Conley tries to get a layup over Kyrie, doesn't go, gets his own rebound, and it goes up and in as he ties the game to one. So far, we've had two upsets with the 24 seed Cole Anthony and the 20 seed Russell Westbrook. Kyrie Irving gets the basket. The handle of Kyrie Irving and his finishing ability around the basket might be the best of uh, some of the guards in NBA history. He's right up there with Prime D Rose, John Morant, obviously, but Morant is more of a dunker and not really a finesse around the basket kind of guy. Conley fade away from the short corner, no good. Kyrie doing Kyrie things, making an unnecessary layup, and he leads three to one. And now he might even have a post game as he posts up Mike Conley here. Mid-range jumper, it's good. Kyrie Irving can do it all. He leads four to one. Mike Conley, a weird jumper, no good. Grabs his own rebound. He gets up another point at least, so it is four to two. And with Kyrie Irving and his shot creating takeover, let's see if he can end it right here. Kyrie Irving now takes Mike Conley in the post. Irving, skyhook, game. And that's going to do it for part one. Once again, there's 31 games to be simulated. So I think we're going to do eight, 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 and seven, making this a four part series. And we might be doing it once a week, like where I upload the different parts. But yeah, this, that's going to do it for at least part one. Here's a little updated version of the bracket. So you guys can see what's going on. Let me know who you think is going to win this ultimate one-on-one -on -one point guard. 32 team single elimination bracket. That was a mouthful. My God. Until next time, it's Benny Boy Zach. I'll see you guys later. Peace.